Hey, 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 y'all, it's your boy, Fat Face J, and today I got some great information for my military personnel. Now, my name is Jarrell DeMond Ralph by birth, but you know, my YouTube name is Fat Face J, that's the name of the channel. <laughs> A little background about myself, served four years in the United States Marine Corps, and today I got my DD Form 214. Everybody in the military know what the DD Form 214 is. Pretty much it's the form we get when we about to get out as our last order saying, hey, go home. But as you can clearly see, I got out as a Marine, but right now I'm rocking that style on my chest, United States Army. So why is this? Basically, during my last couple of months in the Marine Corps, I was working to... um do what we call a inner service transfer. You know, there's not too much information out there for the inner service transfer, but today I promised, I promised myself that I would put this out after I got everything situated with and packed and moved back home. So today we're going to go in depth on this inner service transfer. Now, the first thing you want to do is, of course, let your command know that you're trying to do an inner service transfer. Of course, they're going to be like, oh, I don't know if it's going to get approved. Uh, I don't, I can't promise you anything. But just just put forth that effort and put forth um, put forth that effort if you really want to do it. See, now the first thing we're going to talk about is on you. And we're going to do a request for an inner service transfer. I know y'all can't see that. But pretty much what, what it says is, I drill blah blah Ralph do request to have an inner service transfer into the armies, which I did, and the service transfer into the army underneath the MOS of a 56 Mike. Now 56 Mike's is a chaplain assistant. Now just because you put hey, I'm trying to do an inner service transfer for a 56 Mike or what whomever um MOS code you put. Don't guarantee you that don't guarantee that you'll get it at maps. Okay, so step one. We got our request for inner service transfer. Next, Marine Corps, you'll take it to your command element, your S1. And then they'll do a first endorsement. Then after they do the first endorsement, if everything is right, now let me back it up a little bit, y'all. I turned in my request for inner service transfer back in December. And then all this COVID stuff started happening. I didn't get any information back until I had to go to S1 personally. As we know, S1 ain't gonna call y'all, you know, hey, you come, you get the information when you come. So, Turns out some of my paperwork was wrong. So my advice to you all is make sure, please make sure you go and check on S1. Make sure your paperwork right. Because at the end of the day, this is your career, not theirs. Okay, so we got our first endorsement done. And then there's a second endorsement and a third endorsement. That's when the um commander, your CO, in my case it was a general because I work for um, 2MFG1, that's Command Element, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, RAW. So, after you get that last signature, then the Army's going to tell you, hey, that's all you need is the, um, uh, I think it's a 04 or above to sign this and you're good to go. But that's not true when it comes to the Marine Corps. When it comes to the Marine Corps, it must... And I say it must be sent up to headquarters of Marine Corps. And I'll explain that in a bit. So after you submit it up to headquarters of Marine Corps, it's going to take roughly two, three, close to a month and a couple of weeks until you get any information. There's 12 stages to this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 12 stages. So once you get to stage six, if it gets approved at stage six, you're good to go and it's going to get sent back to you. No problem. But if it gets denied at stage six, 
It goes on up to the other levels, up to 12, to get that final decision. And if at level 12 they say, no, we're not going to allow it, then your, your request for inner service transfer is denied. Now, in my case, thank God, at level 6 they said, Corporal Ref, you're good to go. You squared away. You can go ahead and transfer into the Army and get your inner service transfer. So they sent me the paperwork. What's next after that? You have all the paperwork. Now what do you do? Of course you go talk to your recruiter. My recruiter starts Iron Butler, Jacksonville, North Carolina. So pretty much the next stage is you start doing your paperwork for the Army. Granted, again, I turned my exam back in December. So most of my paperwork was already done. But the inner service transfer is for they can submit it. So I submitted my paperwork, stopped signing by only pushed everything through. Um, I went to MEPS like last week on Monday. Prior service. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. I forgot how much I hated MEPS. Especially the medical part of it. You had to pee again, you do urine sample, make sure ain't no protein, give blood, make sure you don't got any HIV or anything of that nature. Had to weigh in again. Y'all, let me tell you something. Tape is amazing because I had to get it. So if you if you know you're overweight and you can't tape, you can still get disqualified. Don't know I care if you prior service. You know, you still I, I encourage you to go work out, make sure you can at least, at least pass tape. That's what I had to do do. But hopefully I can get down to 194. I'm 208 now, God is willing. Whoo, that's it's gonna be a long, a long journey. But I, let me let me get back to my um video and stop boring y'all with all my stuff. So pretty much, you go to Maps, you do your medical, you pass your medical, then you go to your liaison, then your liaison sit down. This is the part that everybody wants to know. How do I get my MOS? How am I selected? What do I got? So um, normally they tell you it's needs of the army and there's a certain amount. They give you, okay, the army needs motor T transfer, um, transportation. Someone to drive the motor T, the, um, the vehicles or motor T operator. So they'll push up like, Hey, the army really needs this and that. And they're probably like, yeah, there's a bonus. There's a bonus. You could get $1,200. If you sign this contract, and if it's not stated in your contract, folks, if it's not stated in your contract, don't sign it. Ask them where's the bonus, where's the statement about the bonus at? Because they can promise you, even if they put it in the contract, remember, they can be like, when you get to your unit, like, oh, you owe us this money back because this wasn't really a bonus. They shouldn't have gave you that. Always be aware. Make sure the bonus is really a bonus. Now, back to, back to my story. So, pretty much with me, Again, this is Mike, chaplain assistant. I told him I wanted to be a chaplain assistant. He said, well, do you have any other MOSs you want to be in? No. Chaplain assistant is what I want. And if you can't give me that, I'll just wait till it's available. So he got on the phone, buzzed and talked and called whomever. And they talked for a little bit. And then he was like, okay, you got to um, do a writing test, a typing test. I was like a type of test. When I went into the Marine Corps, I ain't had to do no type of test for 0111. It's weird. Okay, so I was like, how many, how, how many, what do I have to do? He said, so pretty much you have to type 25 words in a minute. He must not know. Um, I was a type guru back in college. You know, I might not came right that well. My penmanship might be that doctor penmanship, but I can type, type about 50 words in a minute. So he was like, oh, yeah, you're good. So then he called them and be like, okay, there's a position. Then you wait. You figure out what is your ship out date. My ship out date is September 14th. So that's when I'll be going to AIT, of course, Marines. So we don't go to boot camp anymore because we got the hardest boot camp around. Raw. <laughs> I know I'm saying raw again a lot, but hey, once a Marine, always a Marine. Pretty sure some of y'all in comments gonna be like, oh, you saying raw, but you got on an army t-shirt. Yeah. Once a Marine, always a Marine. You know, it's just something I wanted to do. I wanted to use this bridge to get closer to God, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I ship out on the 14th of September, which I'm happy about that. 
And if any of you have any stuff, Marine Corps wise, because I can't speak for any other branch, but Marine Corps wise, if you have any questions that I can go further and deeper in detail for you, just hit me up. I'm going to make sure I put my email down in the um the box below. It's going to be a way for you guys to get in contact with me. I know in the service transfers can be real tricky and methodical, but just hit me up and I'll make sure you got that bridge and make it and get what you want. So this fat face J again, this is my new YouTube page, you know, so my YouTube page, my YouTube page is going to be M O G. So that's military unboxings and gaming. Excuse me. I said, Oh, I mean you M U G military unboxings and gaming. All right, you guys, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. God bless you, and I hope you have a good night.